This is the old adage of don't throw anything away. <laughs> we had that conversation the other day, Mark, didn't we? Right, it's a 42 Cadillac, I think it's a Fleetwood, yeah I'm sure it is. I think that's what you said before. It's the second biggest one they built I think. Um, obviously it's stuck at the back over there, and if I'm going to start working on it I need to roll it. So if I'd mock up the suspension just to get the wheels on it, okay. so I can move it backwards and forwards, um, as and when we're working on it. That's the general idea, because all the wheels I put it on, we just skids you put on the cars and all the wheels have collapsed and bent okay because the chassis weighs so much but if i can just get it i won't be able to put the springs in because the engine you need the engine weight to compress the suspension but i can put a piece of metal in and just wedge it up so it's rolling you know so what we got here then so these are all the bits that have been off powder coated god knows how long ago so i just get all them out find all the knuckles because that like that that bolts to the chassis that goes in there and then your suspension pivots on that. Okay. So I'll have to find all the bits and pieces and clean them all up. Not worried about it, because it'll probably need a complete rebuild kit, so just for the time being, just get it rolling. Right, need those. Don't need steering at the moment, can't get out your roll bar. Right. That we need, that we need. Right, I need the other one of those. This is the old adage of don't throw anything away. <laughs> That's the left hand thread nut. Yeah, always mock build. Always, always, always. What's a mock build then? Put it together once, doesn't matter if it's working or not. If you scratch something, it doesn't matter. Um, it just doesn't matter. You've got a fabricate cut, like the engine in his truck. Yeah. It's been powder coated now, the chassis, but we know the engine fits because we've done it all, you know? Um, things like that. Not so much on a completely standard classic car, but something you're fabricating yourself. Like, there's no point in me, if, me, if I ever want that engine painted, there's no point in me painting it until I've made all the engine mounts. Yeah. Because you, you're going to... Mark it. You're going to do something wrong, you know? But if it's, like I say, a box standard car that hasn't been converted at all, then it really doesn't matter that much. Right, that'll do us for the moment. I think. That'll be your foot then. Got a hole in my hand. They go in there. I've just got to look at which way they go. They go in there. That goes then through there. That's your top joint. They're the kingpins. They're the lock offs for the kingpins. So we should. Once I've cleaned all that up and looked in the book which way round it all goes. I can't remember where the anti-roll bar is front or back. Now these only go one way because they've got a bump stop on them. We'll have to look at the book for which way round all that goes. We've got our ends, that's four of them, didn't we? One, two, three, four. So we should have four of them. Two of them. Two of them. Where the bloody hell does that go? Ah, uh, steering, idler arm. Two kingpin bushes, two kingpins. Right, some wheel nuts to put the wheels on later. So what part is this? Front wheel bearings. So what parts make up the front, front wheel bearing then? Right, those two, that's an inner front wheel bearing. Yeah? Yeah. So that bangs in the hub, that goes on your stub axle. Then that is your outer hub bearing. Then you have your washer. And you have your nut. So that's one set. So we've got to find the other inner bearing. Outer bearing, sorry. Not worried about getting it clean, clean, because most of this will all be replaced. Is there any bikes that you haven't worked on? 
never done a Vincent. I had one here, but never done, never, never worked on one. Where's a Vincent come from then? England. Was it? Yeah. It's like the Holy Grail, like rough superiors, people love them. They were just very powerful for their time. Yeah, this has all been done at one time because these are no way these are 1942. In far too good condition, you know. Hmm. They do look good, don't they? Yeah, there's no brinoline on it or anything. Don't really need these, but I might as well clean them while I'm at it. Any trouble cleaning stuff in petrol? I can't smoke. <laughs> Has that stopped you before? I'm gonna try and give up. Oh yeah? Yeah, from a fiftieth. Why? I mean, you should. I'm just like wondering know, what's all that on. A bit bored with it, to be honest with you. How long have you been smoking for? Uh, since I was about fourteen, I suppose. How do you think you'll cope? Horribly. <laughs> No, I'm not one of these people who thinks I won't be able to do it on my own, so I shall go to the doctors and get patches and whatever and whatever. Patches, injections, hypnosis. Yeah, <laughs> lot. a lot. And that's next year? Yeah, June next year. Got to try these things. That's it. Front wheel suspension. It won't be A series, it'll be B. 40, 40. I've made quite a few different ones, I'll have to find the ID plate. Diff. Yeah, so that means your steering knuckles on that side. So anti-roll bars at the front. So that will be driver's side, that's that one. So we need our knuckle with the steering bump stop on the back face. So that's the wrong one. That's that one. You know what you're doing now? Yep. It's just a matter of putting it all together the right way. It doesn't really matter, like I say, because this is just mocking, but you might as well. So then that goes in that way. We've been powder coated, we might have to clear them out. See that is why you buy new suspension kits. See how knackered that is? Mm. That's going forwards, so you do up that way, so that would knock it off. If that was on that side, you do up that way, going forwards, that would do it up so it's left hand thread this side. I knew that. Next question is which way up did I go? Normally they're at the top, aren't they? That's that side, that shows grease nipples that way. Doesn't matter at the moment anyway, it's just to get it rolling. But... Yeah, that's right. Right, let's put the inners in, we know they're out of the way then. All this just to be able to move the car? Yeah. Right, those will leave off. Basically, they go in there. That goes through there, that gets locked. That's locked in the center of there by a bolt. And then that one should, right, that's put back together wrong, I think. That should go that way. And you take the grease nipple out of there and that's an Allen key in there. And then you can move your suspension left and right. Okay. So that does your toe in, toe outs like that on the wheels. Yeah, that adjusts your camber. See, that's offset. So if it was there, because your suspension struts fixed there on the top of the shock absorber, you wind that that way, it does that. Wind that that way, it does that. Okay. So that's your camber adjustment. But we can't do that until the front shocks are bolted on. That do, that ain't gonna fall out. I don't know whether that's on right, but it doesn't really matter at the moment.
four of them. Right, let's go and put a shock absorber on then. One, two, three, four. Right, let's get rid of that one. Once that's now bolted on the top, yeah? You bolt the bottom on, just put your link pin in there, and that's it. But what you'd normally do is bolt your bottom on, put the spring in, and then jack up the bottom of the suspension until you can get your pin in the top. Okay. But you can't do it, because without the weight of the engine in there, it just lifts the whole car up in you. Oh, okay, yeah. With the spring, you can't do it, unless you put spring compressors on it, but they're just a pain in the arse. Next week, on The Workshop.